Commodities and Futures Market Analysis with Moving Averages and CCI Support Resistance Hello my friends, today I want to talk with you about gold market potential for next 2 or 3 month. Please don't forget to support this idea with your like and comment. On my last gold or Zao United States dollar analysis, I stressed the importance of a 1-day MA50 or blue trend line test while the price was at the top of the channel up before discussing a new rise. Finding opportunities with the 50 and 200 period moving averages. 50-day moving average basics. The 50 period simple moving average is quite popular in the stock indexes, currencies, and commodities markets. It is considered an intermediate term trend filter and one that many swing traders rely on. Since the 50 day moving average consists of a total of 50 price bars in its calculation, it tends to be quite smooth as compared to the shorter term averages such as the popular 20 period moving average line. At the most basic level, when price is trading above the 50 period simple moving average, it is considered a bullish trend. On the contrary, when price is trading below the 50 period simple moving average line, it is considered a bearish trend. Furthermore, when the price moves above the 50 period moving average from below, it is considered to be a shift in sentiment from bearish to bullish. And in reverse, when the price moves below the 50 period moving average from above, it is considered to be a shift in sentiment from bullish to bearish. By analyzing the 50 period SMA, we can have a better idea of whether the market is displaying trending characteristics or consolidation characteristics. This will allow us to select the most suitable trading strategy for the current market condition. 200 day moving average basics. The 200 period simple moving average line is considered a longer term trend filter and is often watched by position traders. The 200 period simple moving average line takes into account 200 days of past data and its smoothing effect can be quite pronounced on the price chart. The most recent bar can often be a far distance above or below the 200 SMA. As with the 50 period moving average line, it works best in the identification of the overall trend. And so, as a general rule, when price is trading above the 200 period moving average, the market is considered to be in a bullish phase, whereas when the price is trading below the 200 period moving average, the market is considered to be in a bearish phase. Due to the slow reactive nature of the 200 period moving average, it's often combined with a shorter term moving average study. The shorter moving average line can act as a trade trigger, while the 200 moving average line serves as the trend filter. There are many different combinations that can be used with such a dual moving average strategy. One of the more popular combinations is the dual 50 and 200 period moving averages. Golden Cross and Death Cross. We have taken a look at a few trading strategies that incorporate the 50 and 200 moving averages independently. Did you know that combining these two moving averages can also provide valuable clues about the current market conditions? The 50 and 200 day moving averages are widely watched by traders and investors in almost all major markets. A 50 and 200 period crossover event is held with high regard by market participants. When the 50 day moving average rises above the 200 day moving average, a golden cross is said to have occurred. This is a highly regarded bullish trade signal. Conversely when the 50 day moving average falls below the 200 day moving average, a death cross is said to have occurred. This is considered as a bearish sign for the market. Traders should use the moving averages in conjunction with other technical indicators to maximize their risk-adjusted returns. For example, in this case, we use CCI indicator. This should be simple enough. Or, in this video, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. So in this case study, on my last gold market analysis, I stress the importance of a 1-day MA50 or blue trend line test while the price was at the top of the channel up before discussing a new rise. However, the price broke even below the 1-day MA50 and is now approaching the 1890 low of March 29, 2022. As long as it trades above that level, gold is a buy especially as the 1-day CCI is just above its 1-year support zone. A break below 1890 level though, would invalidate the structure that is similar to the late 2021 early 2022 pattern so be ready to adjust by either taking the loss and opening a sell on a one day ma200 or orange trend line target or hedging well my friends be ready for such scenario this is not financial advice always do your own research 
Use your personal indicators and strategy to trade the market. OK, next video, click the end screen video. You'll learn everything about CCI moving average crossover trading strategy.